Hey everybody, this is Ted Check, Recovering Reporter. So let me ask you something. How is it that you can have a media outlet and it's owned entirely, owned and funded entirely by the U.S. government and then have that entity uh, disseminate so-called news here in the United States that is particularly one-sided? How, how is that allowed to happen? Um, I guess... He who has the gold, how's it go? Wins. <laughs> I guess if you're in, if you're the ones that are in power, then you can do whatever the hell you want with uh, you, you. You've got your own media company, and I, I don't know that it's it's called Voice of America, VOA. So you you hear Voice of America, and what do you immediately think? Propaganda, and that is a criticism of VOA because it does does broadcast all over the world apparently, and. Um, you know, it. Uh, well, you'd, you'd think that it would be, if it is propaganda, you'd think that everything that it produces would be pro-America. However, no, it's not pro-America, not if you are trashing this guy here, Donald Trump, in, uh, in this story right here where Harris faces misogyny, racism in bid for White House. Um, has nothing about what Trump might, might face, everything about what Kamala Harris is facing, allegedly. And, um, you know, they even they even make up a, a you know, a buzzword here. Misogynoir. Misogynoir, Misogynoir is the horrible hybrid between like sexism and racism that is specifically uh, lobbed against black women. And it's rooted mm -hmm. in stereotypes about and against black women, as well as them, um, these notions that they don't adhere to white heteropatriarchal supremacist norms. Ooh, wow, that was a lot of buzzwords in one sentence. Um, and even before that, they're talking about, uh, you know, that people are making fun of Kamala Harris's love life. You, you mean when she was in that relationship with, uh, with the, the, the dude, Willie Brown, um, and he was married to somebody else. And then he gave her a couple of jobs that, that, that love life. Is that, is that what you're referring to? Oof. I mean, yeah, I, you know, this is uh, just uh, beyond the pale. I, 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 unbelievable um, how one-sided this is. And this is, this is, as I said, a media entity that is owned and funded by, 100%, by the federal government. It's crazy. I mean, here, I'll, I'll show you. Um, people also ask, VOA is funded by the U.S. government through the U.S. Agency for Global Media. Um, began in 1942 to combat Nazi propaganda with accurate and unbiased news and information. Okay, that's a, that is a great foundation. It has really deviated. It's gone down the drain, totally. What the heck? Um, but yeah, you know, here, here's, here's more. So, so it, it, it talks about, uh, it produces all this content in 48 languages which it distributes to affiliate stations around the world, but it's not that hard to find here in the United States. And here it is in English, geared towards a United States audience. I, I just don't understand what is going on here. Um, so I would have to say, you know, we're going to talk about defunding. This is a candidate for defunding. Uh, it's not serving the, the, the purpose uh, that it was meant to serve. Um, it has really gone off the rails and been corrupted uh, by all sorts of various uh, woke ideology. And uh, that's really, it's disappointing. It's actually very disappointing. Um, I spent 25 years in the media and to see something like this, um, you know, the, the news is what I'm passionate about. Uh, that's why I wrote a book about it. And uh, this, this is just terrible. Um, so anyway, if somebody could explain this to me, I would appreciate it because I am just baffled and bewildered and befuddled by this. Um, how, how to make it make sense, please. Somebody help me out. Thank you.